breakfast at the boat ramp. It's a super calm morning. Let's see what happens the rest of the day. All right, folks, on the wrong rods, we're trying to catch a redfish, and we just had a black tip eat our pogey. These, these over here are the black tip rods, and there's our pogies. Hard, hard earned pogies. Bunka for you guys up north. Let's see what we still have left. That is not the shark rigs. Ah, just come unbuttoned. Let's see what it looks like. Wow. Look at that, folks. It just come unbuttoned. Hmm. Well, these are my Annie Fowl rods that I wanted to use for big reds. I do not want to catch sharks with the pogies. All right, we're on. This might be what we're looking for. Okay, I'm getting the net. He just ate everything off here. A small shark. Man, I'm telling you, these goddamn sharks. Yeah. All right, small shark, not a redfish. He acted like a redfish, though. Now that drag was tight. <laughs> oh God, he got off. Yeah, well all that jumping, man. All that jumping. Yeah, Mark was doing the wicked tuna on him. Well, the rods worked. I'm trying a hundred pound wind on leader. I hope that's not completely gone. Leave it to a shark. He'll destroy everything you got. Uh, we got one. We got one right here. Here we go. Put it down, Mark. Oh, we just ate it off. We had one right here. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, he just ate it off again. What the hell's going on here? Here he is. Go for it again. Go for it again. Let's see. God damn. What the hell was that? Here he goes again. Go ahead, oh, just pick pick it up, pick it up. It's a no, we don't have flippers eating our bait. Oh, he's tangled in this one? Let me put the camera down, good God. Oh, he got mouthed. Somebody was mouthing the hell out of him. I was trying to get some B-roll for you folks. I'm telling you, these sharks are screwing with us so hard today see they don't want the wrath of the new star rods upon their ass that's the problem all right we got something on we just had one break us off on the on the corkscrew jump and now we got this guy right on the side of the boat on the new rods no that's still a black tip yeah, that's, that's a black tip just one that wants to cooperate is all he is. Here's what happened last time, folks. Broke line. All right, that's a medium to small black tip. Broke all the other rods. Use as long as you hit, whatever. Stay in 100% fish lighting position. Okay, Orawalk, this, uh, this is the 100 pound wind on leader. that drag backed off a little bit. Okay. Okay. Ready? There we go. He's no worse for the wear. That's a that's a finally we've had I don't how many I don't know how many we've had break us off and jump and go crazy. Can I say that say that again for the video people. <laughs> you knew we were doing such a good job yeah. that you don't need to catch any croakers. <laughs> See? She says we're 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 doing such a great job out here. <laughs> oh my god, look at that croaker. He's up there. 
Look at this croaker, folks. He slid all the way over the damn snap swivel and everything. Get back down there, will you? Get him back out there. He's dead, but let's see what happens. I'm sure glad Carol's up front. She sees all the rods going bowing over when we're not looking. Okay, we're back in the saddle again. Oh no, that's a black tip. Just a smaller one. Man, we're getting these perfect sizers. Now. Oh, he doesn't. He doesn't look like he swallowed it. Man, I can't even see the hook. Oh, there it is. Okay, you wanna do a little wrestling match? Hold on. Hold on! Oh, look at that, the hook's coming out of his mouth. Alrighty, Mr. Sharky. No harm, no foul. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the next one by hand. You wanna grab them? You wanna ride them? I'm gonna grab them by the tail. Okay. Oh, we got one on! Yeah, that's a little guy. These are the ones that the kids reel in. I call these speedy sharks because they can they can turn completely around on like the, the length of their own body. Almost unhooking himself. Alright, the old knee hooker down here. I hate leaving the hooks in them. I kind of feel sorry for them if they're swimming around with a bunch of mouth jewelry. You know? But believe it or not, I've taken 16 year olds that have more piercings and stuff stuck through their face than a shark's ever will. We're done. We're heading back. As they say on the ferry, be prepared for a slight bump. Alrighty, I just wanted to take a minute here after this video to show you something. Uh, you know, these are the swivels that I've been using for my shark fishing and stuff. I mean, they were cheap. I mean, good God, I buy them in bags from Amazon and they're these China cheap things. And I've had, during shark battles, I've literally had this open up because the wire isn't that, I mean, these are supposed to be like 90, 110 pound swivels or something, these snap swivels. I mean, it's a little, it's kind of weak. It ain't no Roscoe, okay? And it, it, it ain't no American fishing tackle. This is Amazon cheap. And I'm thinking about not using them anymore and just really going with some serious, you know, American made. But what I wanted to show you, let's see if I've got a pointer here. I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this. I just stumbled on this because I was stealing uh, the snap part off of this ball bearing swivel. But I just want you to see that hole where this loop goes through. The side walls of it are so thin. I mean, I don't want to trust these anymore. I don't like them. I'm hoping you can see it. I got all the light I can possibly do here. But here's what I found out. Those side walls of this are so thin and I take my sergeant monster crushers here good old made in USA in New Haven Connecticut you know the firearms capital and I stick this in here and I'm only I'm gonna save the snap part I'm only gonna pop the side of that rotating ball bearing swivel part okay 
okay see I'm grabbing it right on the very edge I mean good night look how easy that can you see it how easy that pops here's how easy it pops watch look at this that's god dang pot metal folks that's pot metal that ain't real metal and the little piece here's the little half of it right here pot metal I mean that's what you're getting from these China tackle companies everything from the China is usually cheap crapola this is probably metal that they just recycle look at that now I can take that ring off just by popping this now on the sharks which is about the heaviest pull and son of a guns we ever hook into on my boat but look at that it's pot metal that ain't real brass or state stainless steel I just wanted to do this as a here's your sign the reason that they're cheap is because oh there's I want to get that ring I just dropped it so there's the ring that was on one end I mean these work but I mean they don't have a lot of tension I'm thinking about dumping all of these all of these and I got a bunch in my tackle bag for my sharkin because I I haven't had a failure though I have to admit I haven't had one of these break on a shark or anything I haven't had one of them break but the walls on that are so thin I can go in with my sergeant pliers which are some bad mammer jammers right here now because they're made in the USA sergeant and company which are so powerful I mean you ain't gonna find this from China look how tight they close and these things are old I have I have worked these things to death they don't ever go outside they're just here for the tackle vault in the old wolf den for working but look at that that's all I wanted to show you is price alone is not always should be your deciding factor I think I'm gonna I got some Amazon tools of the trade page I got a whopping $16 from anybody who has patronized my Amazon tools of the trade page and bought whatever I get a few little pennies thrown my way and it takes months and months and months and months and months to come up with any any kind of uh, affiliate you know kickback or credit or whatever you want and I think I got like $17 on there and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna spend my $17 on some serious quality American made like Roscoe or something like that hopefully American made because I know there's gonna be a difference a ball bearing snap swivels so thanks for watching I just wanted to throw this in at the end because shark fishing for the black tips at the end of the Mayport jetties is a true brutal tackle test as you just saw all right, I'll talk to you on the next one.